Claim number two. Gravity has never been proven, or is just a theory. This one is only slightly less ridiculous than gravity does not exist. Gravity is ridiculously easy to prove. Countless things we see every day here on Earth prove gravity, things that we tend to take for granted. Just drop an object and watch it fall. That proves the effect of gravity. In science, we prove things by making repeated observations and watching the results. When the results are so consistent that we can make accurate predictions of it with great certainty, then it is considered scientifically proven. With gravity, we can make many predictions that never fail to be correct. For example, we don't just know that things fall, we know how fast they fall. Falling objects actually accelerate faster and faster as they fall. The rate of acceleration on Earth is 32 feet per second per second. In other words, in the first second, a dropped object will accelerate from zero to 32 feet per second. And in the second second, it will continue to accelerate by another 32 feet per second. So now it is going 64 feet per second. And this will keep going until it hits the ground or until it reaches terminal velocity, which is the fastest it can go due to its wind resistance or other frictional forces. Another prediction we can make is that an object thrown up at an angle will always form a parabola shape as it arcs back down. Any good baseball outfielder is able to catch the ball because they are very good at predicting this parabolic path. If gravity were not a consistent force, that simply would not be possible. We also know that gravity is based on mass. This is easy to show because you can pick up a baseball but not a car. The car has more mass, that is, more matter stuck together than the baseball. I like to picture it this way. Every molecule of the Earth pulls on every molecule of the baseball and also on every molecule of the car. But since the car has more molecules, the overall pull is stronger. In addition to what we observe here on Earth, we can also observe gravity out in space. One of the best examples is watching the moons of Jupiter orbit the planet through a telescope. They move fast enough that you can actually see their positions change in a single night. And most significantly, we can precisely predict their positions at any point in the future because we understand how gravity controls their orbits. Check out any space simulation software like Stellarium that can show their future positions and then go look for yourself to see just how accurate it is. This also works for asteroids and comets. Ancient peoples predicted the return of recurring comets, such as Halley's Comet, for many centuries. But they did that only by observing the patterns. Now we can accurately calculate their paths using the laws of gravity. Even when a new comet or asteroid is discovered, after careful observation of its path for a time, we can calculate and accurately predict its future curved path around the sun. When flat earthers say gravity has never been proven, I think they are confused because the cause of gravity is not fully understood. We certainly do understand the effects of gravity very well, as I have already explained. And we know that it is always based on mass and distance. But while we may not entirely know why it works that way, that is not the same as being unproven. You probably don't understand how a microwave works, but you know it will heat your burrito. The prevailing idea of gravity is that it is caused by a bending of the fabric of space-time itself. Like a funnel-shaped fabric causing a small ball to circle the heavy ball in the center, as in this demonstration. Objects with mass are drawn to each other due to this bending. This is a problem physicists are still working on. But the cause of gravitational effects is irrelevant. It need not be fully understood to be scientifically observed, tested, and proven.